A pin lock is an additional piece of plastic that fits inside a visor to help prevent it steam up. It's a moisture absorbing material that stops the moisture sitting on the outside of the glass as it would on the visor itself. Okay, so they're called a pin lock because they attach onto these two pins. Um, to fit it, we simply, the pin lock itself has got a little cutout on either end, and we simply locate the cutout into the pin. Once you've got one end in, stretch the visor out slightly, bend the pin lock a little bit, and locate it into there. It'll snap into place. That's how you put it in. To remove it, simply open the visor slightly, get your fingernail underneath the edge, and take it out of the pin. The other end will just fall out nice and easy. They can fail for a number of reasons. Firstly, the pin lock isn't pressed against the visor and the little rubber seal, let me just take it out. Little rubber seal there, that could be completely squashed flat and not work anymore, or the pins could not be holding it firmly against the visor. Okay, we've got to remember it's a moisture absorbing material. So if the conditions are really cold outside and you've got your hot breath breathing against the visor, it's going to be absorbing it. Um, it can max out. What can we do to help prevent it? Breathe through your nose, very controlled. If you've got a chin vent, keep it open. If you've got a chin skirt and you can get away without using it, don't use it. Let your breath escape out of the helmet and not make all your breath go onto this because the more this absorbs, the more quickly it will uh, max out and it will wet out then and show your moisture on the surface. Yes, they are helmet specific. In fact, they're model specific. So you must get the one for the make and model of your helmet. If this pin lock is loose against your visor, and air can travel between this and the visor, but the seal is still good, you can still feel the gel seal on it, it's gonna be down to the pins. The center of the pins are offset, which means if you rotate them, they will either put pressure on or take pressure off the pin lock itself once it's fitted. If you take the pin lock out and the centers of the pins are facing the outside of the visor this way, they're too slack. If you rotate them, you're pushing the center of the pins internally into the visor, and this will tighten up the pin lock and press it against the visor itself, and it will not fail then, as long as the seal is good on the pin lock. How do I clean my pin lock? Well, firstly, if it's me, I try and avoid it because they are so, so delicate. If you go rubbing this thing with even a microfiber cloth, you're gonna mark it, you're gonna scratch it, okay? If you do get something on it, and it won't just come off with your finger delicately, you can run them under the tap, okay? You can run them under the tap and get rid of whatever's on it, but don't go at it with any sort of cloth or fibrous product because you will scratch it. Uh, if you have scratched it, you need to replace it. There's no way we can get around that. But essentially, if you're not touching it and it because it's on the inside of the visor, really, you shouldn't need to clean it. But if you do, be very, very careful. Just water and then let it dry. It's, it's obviously gonna soak the water up. You need to let it dry, get rid of all the moisture so it can work properly when you refit it into the helmet.